please welcome the talented Devin Alexander. Yeah, all right, everybody. How you doing? Okay, I like my women like my fruits. Get on. What? Uh, good start, good start. Uh, you guys know about artificial uh, raspberry flavoring? No? There's, uh, there's one called uh, Castorium, and it comes from beaver's anal glands. That's gross. That's that. Yeah, that is gross. I was like, how did how did the first person explain how they discovered that? Like, I was thinking, I was like, is this like a chicken or egg scenario? Like, what came first, the anal gland discovery or the raspberry? You know, was it like two people like stumbled upon a raspberry bush for the first time and then they tried, and one of them's like, oh my god, you know what this tastes like? <laughs> The guy's like, I don't know. Uh, he's like, on the can of three, say what you think it tastes like. <laughs> One, two, three. The anal glands of a beaver, a strawberry. <laughs> oh, he's like, no, no, but it, actually, uh, now that you say it, like, it tastes exactly like anal glands. Uh, I've tried them before. Uh, I'll just wait, I didn't want to be the first one to say it. I was just so happy you said it. Like, how does that, how does, like, how does someone go into that depth of an animal? Like, I wouldn't even lick a nickel, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what happens if you run out of beaver's anal glands? Then what? You gotta go back to fresh raspberries? Gross! <laughs> Not me, I'm sticking to the source. <laughs> well, like, what? I'm like, how is it more efficient to get the anal glands from a beaver than to just pick raspberries? How is it that difficult? There's no way there's two guys working that job. Just first they're like, all right, we gotta find a beaver today. I don't know the fuck to find a beaver. You gotta find a dam? I've never even seen a dam. Then you gotta capture it on a net or whatever. You gotta bring it back to a lab and sedate it. <laughs> then there's two guys in a lab just draining anal glands. I don't know how big an anal gland is. <laughs> We're there in there draining an anal glands looking at each other and like, fuck, man, there sure be picking raspberries. <laughs> so many thorns, it's always the worst. <laughs> I uh, used to date this uh, white woman. Uh, I always sound like a proud black man when I say that. Uh, I used to date this woman, and she, uh, like six after month, six months after we uh, broke up, I asked her. I was like, "Oh, have you like have you been with any guys since we uh, s split up?" And she was like, "Oh well, I I don't know." She's like, "I tried to have sex with this uh, one guy, uh, uh, but I couldn't because his uh, dick was." Too big. <laughs> so, yeah, I probably should have asked you how your family was doing. Uh, how's your pops? Uh, I was like, I, I was like, I don't know if she's trying to make me jealous or something, but it's not. That's not how that works. That's not gonna like. That's not something that guy can brag about. He's not telling his friends about that moment. I'm like, oh yeah, well, how was the other night? He's like, oh, how was the other night? <laughs> yeah, brought this girl back to my place. Fucking getting drunk, getting frisky. We took off all our clothes. <coughs> Couldn't have sex with her dicks too big. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> Car's too big for the garage. <laughs> I was like that. I was like, that's so disgusting. Her, like, how do you brag about like that's. That's like bragging about bringing a hundred dollar bill to the corner store and like, oh, they won't break it because it's too big. <laughs> no one cares that you have a hundred dollar bill. You know what? Some people were born with just small change. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the currencies, the ex same exchange rate all over the world, My money's accepted everywhere. <laughs> So fuck you and your big dick. <laughs> I 
So I didn't know what to like say and I didn't know what to do and I was like, oh, uh, I was like, it's too big. How, how big was it? <laughs> and she didn't say anything. She just pointed to the tall can of Pepsi she was drinking. I was like, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> Can't believe I used to date a girl that drinks Pepsi. A oh, fucking Coca-Cola guy. <laughs> yeah, whoa, Coke! I, uh, you guys know what Tinder is, right? Uh, my, uh, I have an East Indian friend. He was telling me about this uh, similar app uh, to Tinder. I was like, oh, what's it called? He's like, it's called Bender. I was like, oh, that sounds really racist. He's like, yeah, it is. I was like, how does it work? He's like, well, uh, you don't swipe. Your parents swipe for you. It's quick. Kevin Alexander, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going.